Hey guys, Florent from Off to Lens here. One of the questions we got asked the most is how did I grade my BMPCC 4K videos? I'm definitely no expert when it comes to color grading, but I thought I'd make a video to show you how I did it and give you a good starting point if you've just received your camera. Before I start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more reviews and short tutorials like this. If you're watching this video, you most likely own the BMPCC 4K or are about to receive one, so I can assume that you have access to DaVinci Resolve, if not, you can download the free versions on Blackmagic's website. When I shoot with the BMPCC 4K, I'm always shooting log, or film, as it gives the best dynamic range and will be very helpful in a grading process. And I shoot most of my footage in ProRes 422, I think that ProRes 422 is a good balance between a strong codec and media size. I may shoot ProRes 422 HQ or even RAW if I know that what I'm shooting is critical or if the image has a super high contrast with very harsh highlights for example. For the purpose of this video I will only import around 20 random clips from different videos that you've seen on our channel. Once I have imported my clips to DaVinci, I usually have a quick look and import the ones that I know I will use into the timeline. Then I go to the color section. If all I want to do is convert the footage from log to Rec 709 or video, then I apply the built-in LUT Pocket 4K film to extended video directly to the clips. This gives you a pretty good starting point and the image is already looking pretty good. You can of course add the LUT using the nodes as well. Here's a few before and after with and without the Pocket 4K LUT. From there I can make small adjustments, if needed, as the LUT can be sometimes a bit too strong, such as curves, exposure, white balance, noise reduction, etc. by adding and using nodes. I use curve a lot especially to lift the shadows to give a slight overall fade to the footage as well as bringing down the highlights. I'm not a very big fan of super contrasty looks. I also try when shooting to expose correctly, in order to save me time in post. To make things easier, I've also built my own LUT within DaVinci based on a Pocket 4K LUT and some of the tweaks I've just mentioned. If all you want to do is apply the LUT, then you can select all clips, but the one with the LUT applied, then click on that one and choose Apply Grade. The LUT will then be applied to all the other clips. Once you're happy with the look of the clips, I go to the Deliver section, where you can choose a bunch of different settings such as codecs, clip names, you can also choose to render as a single clip or individual, which is what I choose. I then hit export and place those clips in new folder, so I know that all of these already have the LUT applied and they are also the good ones that I want to edit and work with. It is usually pretty quick, but it can take longer depending on how many clips you are exporting and also how fast your computer is. For this exercise, it took 3 minutes and 47 seconds to export 19 clips in UHD ProRes for a total of 5 minutes of footage. So we are now in Final Cut where I created a new library and project and imported the footage. As I was saying, I use Film Convert to grade the footage most of the time, which is a plugin that you can use with different editing software. I find it very useful to add a bit of grain and film color, especially since the BMPCC 4K is quite sharp and clean, and it isn't the look that I'm after most of the time. Within Film Convert, I choose a film preset, usually the Kodak 5207 as it is the one that I keep coming back to. I find the colors very pleasing and natural looking. Then you can actually pick the camera that you use to shoot to get the best results. It is usually way too strong once you've applied the presets. So when it comes to adjustments to the colors and curves, I never go to 100%. So I usually set the colors to 60 or 70% and 70 or 80% for the curves. I also sometimes add a bit of grain, usually 10 or 20% to give a more organic and less clinical look. Then I open the controls, and regarding the saturation, I only push it to 120, just to give it a slight boost. I can also further adjust the blacks and highlights if needed, to bring the contrast down or up. One thing I also do is add a bit of blue in the shadows and a bit of orange in the highlights, not too much but just enough to get that color contrast happening. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it properly on here with YouTube compression, though it definitely helps a little. Next, I apply this to the rest of the clips. So you can see that you can get a pretty decent image quite quickly. I also usually save the presets as my own so I can use them later. Over the past few years I've built quite a library of them. 
and it makes the grading process much quicker. And it also helps with keeping a consistent look across your work. Once this is done, I look at the timeline and overall video and further adjust the clips individually to match them. All clips are different, so just applying settings from another doesn't mean that the next one will look exactly the same. So it usually means just adding a bit of saturation or bringing the exposure up and down. Here are a few before and after examples. Left is the original file with nothing applied and right is the final graded one. As someone pointed out, why would I apply a light in DaVinci Resolve when it is available in Final Cut? So of course you can do the whole process from importing to grading and exporting in one or the other, but for me there's few reasons why I choose to use both. Firstly, I found that DaVinci is a lot more powerful and runs faster when applying lots and rendering. Since I have been a Final Cut and Film Convert user for years, I already have built quite a few presets for different cameras and I'm also quick at grading within Final Cut. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and this was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe as I intend to do a lot more of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.